we have Teron Veal who asked, should he stay down 10 toes trying to get the paper himself for his startup or should he go the bank loan route? And if he does do it himself, how long is too long before he should say F it and get a bank loan? I mean, I never got a bank loan. That's too much paperwork. And for, for, from my experience with banks, they're not loaning you nothing unless you got collateral for it. So unless you got some money, like dollar for dollar, or some real estate, you know, I've never had any success with any bank. Plus, you know, I, I mean, I'm, I'm a firm believer in flipping. You just have to be prepared. Like as an independent, you're always gonna be broke because there's a demand to buy things. You have to buy whatever the demand is, you know, so. You know, you just have to be prepared for the growing pains of that. Really starting a business isn't to make any profit on the business. It's just to kind of, you know, to do the coolest, the coolest stuff that you can do for a certain amount of time and then kind of license certain things, the ancillary things out. Right? You know what I'm saying? It's like to be able to survive for five or 10 years is a stat within itself. Making money is like a whole nother thing. You know what I'm saying? So if you're going to be a businessman, you better be prepared for the pain of, of, of going broke and you know and that's going to be a positive because that means you're broke because you got to buy more more product because there's demand for it you know but it's going to be a struggle regardless if it was easy to be an entrepreneur then everyone would be one you know it's just working at a professional level takes a lot of discipline and being calm and sustaining a lot of loss we have another question from janine Diakaiti, and she asks, hi, she says, hi, my boyfriend makes approximately 50,000 a year. He recently got a, a $30,000 car with a $500 a month payment plan. He, he has to do 72 payments to pay off the car. <laughs> do you think that he made a smart purchase or is he stepping out of his financial means? <laughs> Janine. Janine knows a lot of that man business. Putting it out there. I would, uh, I don't know, man. You know, I don't know. I can't really answer that question because that's not my approach on, well, you know, like I wouldn't buy, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It's just, I've never had a job, so I've never man. had a paycheck. I've never had to really, I don't really budget. I get what I want and I just tell myself to hustle and pay for it or just work harder. So I, I don't really, I, and that's probably not the most organized approach, and that's probably something that, that's like the anti-approach, but I really, I just, what I want, I just focus on getting it, and there's nothing that's gonna tell me I can't. So I'm already purchasing it if I don't have the money or not. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of worked for me my whole life. your money, you're not the boss.